40 years of Stanford research found that people with this one quality were more successful in all areas of their life. In 1960, Walter Michael conducted psychological studies of 100 children aged 4 to 5 and revealed one of the most important characteristics that will determine success in health, in work, and in life. We're going to talk about what this study was and how we can apply its insights to our own life to be wildly successful. So what was the study? Children were taken into a private room and they were sat down and a marshmallow was placed in front of them. And then the researcher made a deal with the child. They said that if they left the room and the child didn't eat the marshmallow for the whole time that the researcher was gone, they would get a second marshmallow. One marshmallow now or two marshmallows later. The researcher left the room for 15 minutes and some children immediately got up and voraciously ate the marshmallow. Some other kids sat there uneasy, fidgeting around, making funny noises, trying to restrain themselves from eating the marshmallow and they finally gave in. And a third group of kids actually were able to restrain themselves and wait the full 15 minutes and get that second marshmallow. The marshmallows weren't what made the study famous. What made it famous came years later because the study followed these kids into adulthood over 40 years and focused on their progress in specific aspects of their life. The study found that the kids who delayed gratification and waited for the second marshmallow had much higher SAT scores. They ended up having lower risk of substance abuse and lower risk of obesity. They were better able to respond to stress and they had better communication skills as reported by their parents. These were just a few of the many areas where the kids who delayed gratification were able to be more successful. And that's why books like The Road Less Traveled talk about delaying gratification being one of four crucial tools of discipline and long-term success. So how can we put delaying gratification into practice? Next time you wanna binge watch Netflix and you have work to get done for school, put Netflix on the back burner, get your work done, learn more, get better grades so that long-term you reap the benefits and are in a better position in your career. Or next time you wanna eat a whole box of chocolates but you made a commitment to yourself to get in better shape, skip out on the chocolates and skip your way over to the gym, get a workout in, and then afterwards have a healthy meal and maybe one or two chocolates to reward yourself. You're gonna get in better shape, you're gonna look better and you're gonna feel more confident and that will have a ripple effect in your life. And next time your friends invite you out to party and you wanna go so bad and you're feeling major FOMO but you have an important interview the next day, skip out on the party and delay gratification, get a good night's sleep, wake up early the next day and prepare and crush the interview and watch it change your future career trajectory and then celebrate after once you get the job. Trade in short-term pleasure for long-term lasting rewards. Give up the pursuit of ease and comfort and distraction for the disciplined pursuit of what's best for you. Next thing you know, you're gonna find yourself in old age watching your memories like reruns of the best movie you ever saw, reaping the rewards of your initial delayed gratification. Wishing you wild success and all the best. I love you guys.